Hello, welcome to Virtual Flight Diaries. Um, this is a little video to show everyone how uh, to set up a flight plan through SimBrief. So we're going to go to our SimBrief page. And I have a flight plan already set up here. So I'm going to view that flight plan. So we're going to go from Briscoe Field in Georgia to Hilton Head in South Carolina. Uh, you can set everything up, set your flight up. It's going to be about an hour flight. Um, planned altitude, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm sure people are familiar with uh, SimBrief. Uh, I'm going to do a video on SimBrief just to uh, kind of teach people how to use it, how to uh, edit airframes, and so on. So there's two ways. You can scroll down, or you can hit Pre-File a Network, and it'll take you down to this box right here. Uh, whichever one you're using, it's uh, Popscon, Pilot Edge, FAO. Uh, I'm using, we're going to be using VATSIM. So you just click on Pre-File takes you to the flight plan page and all the information will be here you can adjust your call sign uh, adjust your off block time this is the time that you're going to be estimating your departure uh, you want to try to give yourself some time to set up the airplane before you call for clearances you know it's, it's a guess uh, they'll plug in your route and all your other pertinent information and then you just hit file play plan. You're you're ready to go with that sim. You have a flight plan on file. Uh, you start the simulator, and you're going to start. So many icons here. Um, ah, yes, V pilot. So when you find sim, it'll, it'll connect. Um, You'll, you'll plug in your thing. You want to make sure that your settings and you have your VATSIM ID in, your VATSIM password, uh, your full name, uh, your home airport. They just want it, I guess, for profile purposes. Uh, make sure you have a uh, push to talk button set, whether it's on your keyboard or somewhere on your joystick. I use the Turtle Beach flight deck, so I have plenty of extra switches to add a push to talk button on there. I use the trigger button on mine. And uh, once you're in, it'll give you the nearest frequencies. So you're going to work from the top down. So the closest frequency uh, near you you know you'll 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 get the ATIS if there is one um, or you'll have you know the, the nearest ATIS to you I imagine uh, so then you would contact the closest frequency for your clearance and that's pretty much how it uh, how it works uh, you'll fly your flight you'll talk to the controllers they'll give you instructions um, you know, if, if you need clarification, you know, it is no problem to call them and ask for that clarification. Uh, real world pilots do it. I can't imagine it being any different on that sim. Uh, I'm going to put a little note on my flight plan that I'm new, that this is my first VAT sim experience, and uh, just to let them know. And uh, we'll go from there. So thank you for watching the video and we will uh we'll see you on the flight